Battlefield 2018 has got another leak pointing towards a World War II setting for the game. To ramp you up quickly, this rumor of a World War II Battlefield game started with a YouTuber known as The Almighty Dak. He's known for leaking 2016's Battlefield 1 before the game was even announced. He leaked two other Battlefield games last year, Battlefield World War II in development at DICE Sweden and Battlefield Bad Company 3 in development at DICE LA. Again, this is all rumor for now. There was some back and forth and 2018's Battlefield looked more like it was going to be Battlefield World War 2. In a video earlier this year about a senior producer position for DICE Sweden, the people supposedly behind the Battlefield World War 2 game, pointing out that since they needed a senior producer that they required someone to produce a proper timeline to release their game. Essentially somebody to produce a timeline for them to ramp up production and stick to it because they have a game coming out later that year, which we already knew that they were going to release a Battlefield in 2018. This added to the point that this year's Battlefield game is going to be Battlefield World War II. Essentially, you have the Almighty Dak video and the job listing earlier this year. Now that you're all caught up, news dropped today from Venture Beat sources confirming this year's Battlefield is going to be in World War II, but it's not going to be called Battlefield 2 like a lot of people assumed. It's going to be called Battlefield. V. Reading from VentureBeat, just like World War 1 got a sequel, Battlefield 1 is getting a follow-up later this year. The game is Battlefield V. It was previously known as Battlefield 2 and internally at EA. Battlefield V will return the series to World War 2 in a main entry for the first time since 2009's Battlefield 1943. GamesBeat has learned from sources familiar with EA's plans. These sources wish to remain anonymous. And this is all rumor until it's official, guys, but one thing I wanted to quickly point out is V. Why is the name called V? When I first read that, I was confused as to why it was called that. I don't know if this is a code name, but reading the article, it seems that Battlefield 2 was the actual code name and V is the actual name. Now, I'm not a World War 2 buff or a World War buff myself, so I had to go to Google and just type V and see anything in relation to World War 2, and here's what I got. So, V Day, spelt V E Day, was the public holiday celebration on the 8th of May in 1945 to mark the formal acceptance by the Allies of World War II Nazi Germany's unconditional surrender of its armed forces. The formal surrender of the German forces occupying the Channel Islands did not occur until the following day, the 9th of May. It thus marked the end of World War II in Europe. There's also VJ Day, which is pretty much the same thing, but with Japan's surrender. So looking at both of these and looking at the title, Battlefield V, it seems obvious that it's surrounding, it's probably going to surround its story around victory in World War II. So maybe that's why it's called Battlefield V, but that's just my take on it. Just doing some quick research because again, I'm not a World War buff. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Maybe you are a World War buff and you see V as a representation for something else. Please let me know down in the comments below. I would appreciate it. We can have a conversation about it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. It really supports the page and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every other day except days where there's something really interesting and i'll just post a video on that day i'll check you guys out on the next one so welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we play a little game in the comments down below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do it's pretty easy is comment the letter v down in the comments below and harass it a thousand times to the point where it looks like there's a bunch of arrows pointing down in the comment section maybe it'll fool somebody and he'll go at keep going down to the bottom thinking that there's some important comment i don't know but it's funny to do like it always is i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one